Hi guys, welcome to my uh, channel. Um, I started this channel uh, due to my love for watches. I have a considerable collection uh, of uh, many brands uh, in my portfolio. Uh, but I thought it's about time to share my thoughts uh, and start reviewing some watches. So uh, this is my first video. It might not be perfect, but anyway, I will try my best to uh, give you guys some uh, inside review uh, for today we are looking at uh, Seiko SBTR 027 so Seiko always does these things where basically the best of the the best they kept inside uh, Japan's uh, market and they always test their product in Japan first before it is offered to the rest of the world so this watch is uh, not really available on uh, with your local uh, Seiko distributors and boutiques, but I managed to uh, find a way to get it. Uh, just uh, before we start discussing about the watch, a little bit of history about Seiko. Seiko is a pioneering brand for watch manufacturing. Uh, perhaps it's the number one brand uh, for uh, the the massive uh, production size they have they are number one in producing the maximum number of watches in the world uh, and I think Timex is number two uh, Seiko is uh, very popular uh, it is as old as any other Swiss brand uh, started in 1881 uh, as a repair uh, watch in Japan and then uh, opened up the factory in 1892 uh, Seiko is the, the company who basically uh, brought in the quartz movement and caused uh, the quartz crisis uh, for Swiss and other German and American manufacturers in, in 1900. So we're not going to go into that detail, but let's uh, focus on this uh, watch now. So today's uh, watch uh, is, uh, as I said, is SPTR 027. It's, uh, it's a version which is... Uh, uh, like uh, looks like a Daytona Rolex Daytona as you know Rolex uh, after COVID-19 it's very difficult to get hold of any Rolex watch let alone the the most uh, uh, famous one like uh, this uh, Daytona Rolex which I have this is uh, my uh, black Daytona uh, a chronometer which uh, I have for many years this is uh, on a alligator uh, band and uh, uh, brilliant watch very nice small size and uh, uh, fits uh, on the wrist very nicely so recently if you guys are interested in watches you must have seen that uh, people are referring some Seiko watches as uh, Sedona because they look like um, uh, Daytona but uh, either uh, most uh, most popular one is the solar version which is completely sold out at the moment uh, the solar panda uh, SB is not available at all anywhere uh, because it's uh, almost 600 670 dollar price plan and uh, people can afford it and more uh, importantly they can get hold of it so they are keep on buying these things so as I said that uh, this watch is not available uh, in in Europe and US it's only available in Japan so I just like to share with you how I managed to get hold of it um, I have uh, uh, managed to find this website it's called uh, Discovery Japan and they, they are very good I bought this watch from there uh, the retail price there is 33,000 yen but there is a discount going on at the moment all together including the delivery and everything it, it costed me roughly 22 uh, 23 thousand yen which uh, in english money uh, will be equivalent to 150 pounds or uh, almost uh, 180 dollars something like that so very 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 cheap as compared to uh, what we pay for the swiss watches so anyway this comes in a simple box it has a little thank you in japan as well from the uh, discovery japan website and then let's look into the, the actual box uh, standard seiko uh, edition nice packing very good box with a uh, guarantee card in it uh, so this watch comes with uh, five years guarantee 
and uh, I haven't registered it yet but uh, yeah it's in Japanese so it will be very difficult to know what it says uh, yeah and then nothing else just just packing in in the psycho box okay and uh, here you go this is the simple presentation box and this is lovely Seiko SBTR027 uh, very very nice quality <laughs> to be honest the new, new looks uh, better than Rolex Daytona if you if you compare these two watches uh, next to each other so the main difference of course is not Swiss it's Seiko it's a quartz and it's uh, 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 8T63 which is their uh, not very popular uh, quartz machine but very robust and the difference between Myota and this uh, quartz movement is that it doesn't have the soft uh, sweep hand when uh, you uh, uh, want to do the flyback for the chronograph uh, hand very very nice packing some instructions um, yeah and uh, good and a cushion pillow and the watch <clears throat> so let's take a closer look uh, you know if it's in focus um, you can see the quality of the watch incredible quality you know uh, the hard legs uh, glass is too good the the sun uh, dial is 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 indeed a uh, brilliant it it looks gray but in different light colors it give a shade of blue as well and you can see the the bezel is is it looks like a ceramic bezel but it's it's actually some sort of um, um, pvd or something I, i'm not too sure what what is the, the the construct is very nice bracelet this bracelet to be honest it's i have seen this bracelet in much more expensive seiko watches like grand seiko they have similar kind of style uh, uh, on that very very nice uh, seiko dial the 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 seiko logo is brilliant chronograph the movement is very good very clear tachymeter basil is very nice and the markers are incredible so side to side you can see this is my 10 years old watch of course but very comparable uh, it's a little bit bigger than the Rolex Deton of Cosmograph for sure the measurements are I haven't done it myself but uh, the measurements are roughly uh, 39.8 for the the case and uh, 11.6 uh, thickness which is is quite good the pushers are nicely done uh, on, on this watch so it, it it feels nice basically you click it and you can start the chronograph function and it's 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 very good just like an automatic watch it counts the seconds and you can then stop it and to do the flyback you push the second button and it's very quick so let's do it one more time you start and stop and you go back very very nice uh, we have the 24 hours counter on the one side we have the second counter on the other side and we have 60 minute counter uh, as the third dial very nice 100 meters of uh, water resistance very very nice um, bracelet uh, let me try to open it i think it's just the push button oh yes very nice indeed it's uh, standard seiko edition the quality is very good for this price point i think it will be difficult to find any watch uh, of this quality so let me try 
on the, the wrist as well that's how it it looks uh, on the wrist so i have not massive arms but uh, you can see it is very very nice very nice so it's so light uh, i think it's uh, brilliantly done by seiko nice hard legs uh, uh, glass as well you can see it it still does a reflection but for this price point i think it's incredible it's incredible and the movement is nice the date window is good it's very visible this color combination is incredible this watch comes in many many colors it comes in green it comes in in white uh, but i went for this model because the resemblance to Daytona is, is, is very close and you can see the tachymeter basil is is black just like uh, Daytona so uh, very very good I think if you guys want to have a very cheap alternative you guys should consider this one uh, as I said this is not available in the local boutiques uh, of Seiko in, in UK or in Europe or in the US you have to buy it from the Japanese website I have used this uh, Japan discovery website very very good and uh, it arrives in five days uh, from FedEx so that's my first review uh, if you like please subscribe and support the channel if you like to have any comments please do that uh, I will continue to do some more reviews and uh, let's see how how we built an information channel for uh, all the watch lovers in the world very nice bracelet usually such finish is uh, to be honest it's, uh, this is grand Seiko territory but I don't know how Seiko afford these things seriously brilliant brilliant job very nice so like and subscribe and uh, i will try to do uh, another video in next week uh, with another watch for you guys thank you very much